We are looking for a butterfly called Parnassus clodius. It's a high elevation butterfly found in the mountains of the west, of western North America. And it's found in these kind of flowery meadows like we're in today, um, and also down in sagebrush meadows. We care because they're really strong indicators of what's going on with the rest of the ecosystem. Uh, they're very sensitive to the snow melt. So when the snow melts, that's when our eggs hatch. Uh, their eggs stay under the snow all winter. And then come spring when everything melts is when our caterpillars emerge. And so when that fluctuates and that varies, we get different results every single year based on where we're seeing them and what the population is looking like. If we have extreme conditions, that tells us something about the ecosystem generally. If the butterfly populations go down, that's an indicator for what might be happening to lots of other organisms in this ecosystem. Montana State plays an amazing role in understanding the greater Yellowstone ecosystem and many natural ecosystems within Montana, within the US, and across the globe. We're trying to understand how ecosystems work, how plant and animal communities change over time, uh, how human disturbances affect those animals and plants, and uh, how we can live in balance with nature to the best of our ability. It's a benefit to the National Park Service, to the National Forest Service, uh, to private landowners, that we can spend some time out in these ecosystem areas studying animals, studying plants. It gives the students, the graduate students and the undergraduate students at Montana State, an opportunity to learn these skills of population studies or uh, various types of ecological research so we can get the students outside, but we can also be collecting important data that will help us understand ecology in the larger sense. There are fewer and fewer completely pristine landscapes left where we can understand what happens in nature in an undisturbed situation. So places like this that are relatively undisturbed give us an indicator of what the baseline conditions of the world are.